Hey everybody, what's up, Club Friday? Today? Uh, I'm gonna be talking about doing a little bit of commentary on the AMD CPUs and my beef with them because I do have some. Uh, quite a bit actually. Uh, I'm running an AMD CPU, uh, AMD 8150, 8 core black edition in this PC I'm running right now. And I'm playing Battlefield, or not Battlefield, Fallout 4 here. Now, um, AMD CPUs, I, I don't know what the, how to put them. They're decent, right? They're good. If you're running a budget PC, they're great, but now if you're trying to play games that are CPU intensive, I highly, highly recommend just ditching the AMD. And honestly, if you're really going for like a long run, you know, a game piece, like a hardcore, like you want to run games, you know, like um, 60 FPS constant, I highly recommend you get an Intel CPU. They're just better in every way, and until AMD steps up their game, and stops messing with the cores. I'm making more and more cores, and just focus on each core, making them as good as they possibly can. Now I'm going to explain why Intel is better than AMD when it comes to their processors. It's simply because, sure, Intel may have four cores, and some AMD products, uh, CPUs will have eight. Now, sometimes games won't even run those extra four uh, on AMD. They just don't use them because they don't so they don't write in the code maybe or it's you know it's just, it may take up more and more ram i don't know i think it takes up ram to run those i don't know don't take me on that one but it, some games just don't use the extra four cores simply because they don't write it in there but um basically an in intel okay i should probably go back to amd uh amd has more cores right but each individual core is much much slower than the Intel counterpart, right? So Intel has four cores, but each individual core is a beast, right? They can one core can handle, uh, you know, maybe two cores can handle a game. Um, one on maybe AMD would take four to six, I think. I think if I read the article, that's what it said. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. You know, help people out. I don't want to mislead people, but basically AMD has much slower cores, but much more of them. But the problem with that is some games don't even recognize the extra four cores, right? So at that point, what's you know you're losing power. And don't get me wrong, AMD CPUs are dirt cheap. That's what AMD is known for, honestly, is dirt cheap products that can run near the bare minimum, right? A little bit above it. Yeah, like the the R490s or something like that. The new GPUs they had, the 390s I think are high end now, top shelf. I don't know. I don't. I would I had an AMD GPU for a little bit and uh, let's just say that thing was trash and I'm never buying an AMD GPU again and I'm not buying an AMD CPU again ever again and I'm planning on buying an Intel uh, 6700 i7 I'm saving up for one as we speak and then I obviously have to buy a new motherboard which is not gonna be fun I'm just gonna look for uh, one that can hold my 16 gigabytes of RAM uh, and obviously carry the Intel CPU. My mother words don't really affect your performance. My, all mother words, if you can just find a motherboard that fits your liking. So let's say you want eight gigabytes of RAM, find one that has can hold eight gigabytes of RAM, you know. Yeah, uh, mother words don't actually affect anything. But uh, anyways, back on topic here. Um, the reason why uh, I think AMD is just not good is simply because obviously CPU intensive games um, love to run on very like low amount of cores unless you want to set it to more cores but at some points it just doesn't matter and a game I'm going to use here as a little bit of subject is Arma 3 or Arma in general but mostly Arma 3 is what I'm focusing on right now basically Arma 3 is heavily CPU intensive one of the most CPU intensive games I know personally uh, I that thing doesn't even use your GPU half the time my GPU is running at like 5% um, it's crazy and uh, in order to combat that, obviously, like most games, um, if you bump up the resolution and bump up the graphics, it will force more and more on your GPU. So, especially the resolution. If you bump that thing up, you know, obviously like the 4K or something like that, it'll push so much more on your GPU. But in the, then, you're going to need a good GPU, right? But um, basically, people, like YouTubers, for instance, who play Armor 3, 10 times out of 10, they're going to be running Intel CPUs. Simply because... Uh, Armor 3 uses like two cores. It, for some reason, 
who was that Bohemia is retarded? Whoever record or uh, writes for that game, they don't know what they're doing. It's not an optimized engine at all, but it can run good. Trust me. Uh, if people like I'm an AMD user here, CPU, uh, getting 30 frames, right? If I'm lucky, <laughs> on certain servers. And yes, I know servers. Armor three is weird. Multiplayer. Some servers will cap your FPS, so that way no one has an advantage. It's off the server and FPS, but if you're, like, even in single player, I'll get on 45 to 50 frames uh, in, like, non-combat, just looking at the ground, right? Which is atrocious. When I'm in combat, 30 frames. And it's just, I don't understand. But basically, the reason why this is, is because, uh, like I just said, AMD does not have um, good core performance. It just has tons of cores, you know? And like the good old saying says, quality over quantity. Qu quantity. <laughs> Let's not mispronounce words here. Quantity. Um, and that's what Intel does, right? They have a lot more power in each core, but they have a less amount of cores. But obviously, I'm. If you're a gamer, you're going to be going for power. You really want all the power you can get. And Intel really is just good for everything. Uh, I don't know what you use an AMD for, unless you're on a budget. Then yeah, I suggest you go with the AMD CPU. But you can find some cheap like 3770Ks out there that run flawless on Armor 3, you know, 60 FPS uh, Ultra. But if you're looking for some cheap alternatives, yeah, I guess AMD is where you want to go. But overall, um, I really hope AMD will step up their game with their CPUs. And oh, I almost forgot about this. Uh, I did go to I went to PDX LAN. Some of you may know it, some of you may not. I don't know, but uh, it's a big, huge LAN party uh, here in Oregon, Portland. I don't live in Oregon. I live in Washington, but uh, one of my friends will drive me down to it, uh, and we'll have a good time there. But uh, PDX LAN is a, a fairly decent big LAN, maybe 500 people, and usually, actually all the time, they will have Nvidia and AMD, Intel, lots of other people. Uh, Logitech come down and give giveaway stuff. They, that's actually where all uh, people went this time got Battlefield 1 for free, so I'm getting that for free. Expect videos on that because I played a little bit with the land. It was so much fun. Different video. Anyways, uh, AMD was talking and I asked a question about their CPUs. I said, you know, uh, do you guys plan to make your CPUs more power over, you know, more qu uh, quality over quantity? Basically, I asked them, you know, are you guys going to making your CPUs better because the entire conference all they talked about was the new R 490s or 480s I don't know I think they're called 480s or 480s GPUs and I seriously no one cares about AMD GPUs it's, yes they have been coming up with their GPUs they have been making them better and better and better but they're still not on par with their the new Nvidia 1080s you know those things stomp everything and until they really step up their game AMD will always fall behind Nvidia, but anyways, I asked him, and he basically said, "Yes, we'll be working on it." You know, almost generic answer I can think of, and it it's kind of sucks to be honest because they really need to. If I, I feel like if they got into the market of CPUs and made their CPUs good, they could really be getting a market. You know, cheap CPUs that can run CPU intensive games. That's a market that needs to be filled, to be honest, uh, because Intel CPUs are running pretty high, you know, good, like the 6700K that I, I deeply want is going, I think, I'll look it up real quick, I think $500 maybe, uh, Intel i7 6700K is running a new egg 350, which is, that's a hefty price, you know, people, most people out there don't have $250 to drop on a, on a processor, and they were actually giving these away at PDX Land, I really, really wanted one. Uh, that would save me so much money, but sadly, obviously, my luck is very low, so I didn't win one. But, um, I'm really counting on AMD here to help out and make a CPU with four cores, but can r has tons of power on each core. But I think the problem with that is pricing, right? Because if, same thing with their GPUs. If they were trying to make a really hefty GPU... But make it cheap, they're going to be losing money. And it's obviously, as a company, you just can't be doing that. You can't be losing money. So that's why it's kind of in the mediocre lane. But uh, that's all I really want to talk about with you guys today. 
Uh, if you enjoyed my little rant here, a little bit of rambling, this is what I usually do on YouTube. I don't <laughs> kind of get off topic, but I try my hardest. Uh, if you guys enjoyed and you like this Fallout 4 gameplay in the background, uh, I, I kind of like this game. Uh, that's another CPU intensive game, so, you know, see the FPS issues. And although this game, granted, is on a very, very old engine. I mean, I think uh, Fallout 3 is on the same engine as this game, which is a joke. Uh, but anyways, Skyrim uh, 26 or whatever, Elder Scrolls. Uh, really hope for that one. But yep, hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more content from me. I, I'm trying to post more regularly, as you can see. Uh, you know, it's better in one video every three months. Uh, actually, I've, I think I've posted more videos in this month than I have in my entire YouTube career. But, uh, yeah, leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll try to get more videos out there for you. Peace.